Hey guys, Ali here. I'm gonna to go to a place which I've been told is the best spicy chicken burger in Bradford. Massive fan of spicy chicken burgers. You guys know I review them all the time and I've been told these guys do the best one in Bradford. So let me go look at the menu and check it out. Okay, so we're here, Salas. According to Instagram, according to all the DMs that I've gotten, people say these guys do an amazing spicy chicken burger. I've never been here, I know nothing about it, but let's try it. Had a quick look at the menu inside, but it's actually cash only, but there's a cash point, it's a quick one, the hot tip, because I'm an idiot, I didn't take cash. There's a cash point, actually, next door there's a petrol station, apparently there's a cash point here. It's literally next door, let's get some money out, pay for my food and start the review. Okay, so take two. I've got my food. I need to remember actually, whenever I go to a takeaway, bring cash, bring cash, I always forget that. But the uh, first thing I'm gonna say is the whole meal that I've got, so I've got spicy chicken burger, I've got six wings, I've got a piece of chicken, drink, chips. That all cost me six pounds and 50 pence. So pricing wise, super cheap. So let me find a quiet spot around here. Try and set my camera up so there's not too much wind, not too much cut cut, and then I can uh, start the review. Just briefly, coming down this road, there are so many places I want to try. I've just, I can see Mumtaz. I think there's delicious Parmesan house down this road. There's a real Donico. I hear that's nice as well. I'm not, I'm not being. There are so many places. I could probably do a whole video, like an hour long video, just on places down this road. So I'm definitely going to come back. I'm just, I'm struggling a little bit really to find a quiet spot where I can sort of perch my camera that isn't like, someone's garden do you know what I mean that I can just sort of start this review but I'll, I'll get there I'll get there if you see in this it means I found a place <laughs> so I'm gonna do that but uh, yeah ton of places this is a uh, great Horton Road I'll put the uh, address and everything in the description of, uh, of Salas of, of course but uh, yeah a ton of really good places down this road that I really want to come back to and review but I found like a little spot it looks like a kind of like a park like a parky little thing quite residential though so I don't know <laughs> But I can perch my tripod here. I can kind of, you know, gesticulate and talk about the food and all, the, all that kind of jazz. So let me just tuck in. It's not too far from Salas, so the food should actually still be really, really hot. Let me just show you what I got first and just go over each item. So I'm quite excited. You guys know I love my spicy chicken burgers. So anytime I see that, if someone's famous for that, I'm going to get it. What I'm going to do is open everything up and then go through everything one by one. Guys, I know it's a little bit of a funny angle. The lighting's a little bit odd, but thank you so much for bearing with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, the actual wings. Starting with starters always feels right. These look... Uh, they look okay. They look a little bit oily, if I'm being honest. Like, to the touch, they are very oily. So let me just try them. Let me see what I think. <laughs> Fall back into the box. Honestly, these are really quite... There's, there's a little bit of a kick. The meat is kind of soft, but really quite oily. And honestly, comes nowhere near uh, sort of the quality of the chicken shops or the chicken uh, wings in manchester so have to keep it real have to be honest i'll link my top five places for chicken burgers in manchester in actually the comments and in the description just click on that breaks down the top five for spicy chicken burgers chicken shops that kind of stuff these wings are all right but a little bit oily that being said you get six for 199 which honestly is incredibly cheap but i've always been a fan of just paying a bit more and getting a better product moving on now with lots of shadows all up in my face actually there you go let's move on to the spicy chicken burger that's kind of what i went there for that's kind of what i'm into manchester has some amazing fried spicy chicken burgers so hopefully this lives up to it let's give it a go that's pretty tasty it's quite spicy i quite like the actual batter on this one i think it's a bit better than the wings it's not as oily spicing on it is pretty good but again i think that's Definitely above average for sure, but does it have anything on, on the, the Manchester spicy burger scene? As good as Bradford is in other areas, which I'm, I'm learning on that front, if that's the best spicy chicken burger Bradford has to offer, if I'm wrong, and I don't know, please let me know in the comments. This is what I've just been asked to review like a hundred times. If there's anywhere else there's a spicy chicken burger, please let me know. From what I know, this is the best one in the city. Honestly, it's got nothing on the Manchester scene. The fried chicken burgers there are like far superior. Honestly, man, it's not as, as sizey, it's not as flavorful. The meat isn't quite as good. I think it's not saucy enough. It's just, there's just not enough going on for me to really compare it to Manchester, if I'm being honest, guys. Now let's try, oh, I've already tried the wings. I do not want to try them again. Uh, let's now go over to, I've got a piece of chicken. Unfortunately, they didn't have any leg, which I usually like. What do you guys like, actually? I like the drumstick. I just think that's the best piece of meat uh, when it comes to fried chicken. Always super tender, really soft. But they had side breast, you know, Side breast, a bit more protein, why not? Better for the better on the macros. Let's try that. Oh man. 
I don't know if I just got a bad badge, guys, but that's dry. That's not good, man. Uh, it's possible I'm having a bad experience because it's just a bad day for them. But I've just got to call it as I see it. As a food critic and a food reviewer, I can only review the food that's in front of my face. I can't be like, oh, this is nice in theory. All I've got is that in front of me. I've taken a bite out of it. It's pretty dry. It's pretty flavorless. It's kind of, it's lukewarm. It's not cold. Cold is unfair. It's lukewarm, but dry. Yeah, not good and just really oily to the touch. Super oily, more oily than fried chicken should be. Um, you know, compared to other fried chickens, of course it's a fried dish, it has oil in it, but this is like super oily, too oily. I don't think I've ever said the word oily as much as that, to be honest. <laughs> not to worry guys, not to worry. It's a little bit going, because I love giving you guys good food recommendations. I don't like when I try a meal and I just don't enjoy it, and then I have to be like, don't go here, but it is what it is. I'm actually gonna move on now to my next place. There's so many places I wanna go. I think Schimler's is supposed to be really good. Mr. T's I hear, it's fantastic. There are a load of really, really cool places that I do wanna to go to. So I'm probably gonna move on to the next one. If you wanna know what that is, honestly, cause I don't know yet, I'm just gonna walk around and actually have a look. So honestly, even I don't know, but if you wanna know what it is, it'll be uploaded probably after a few days after this. I think that's probably how long it takes me to edit. So make sure you subscribe so it comes up in uh, your news feed. I'm gonna try and pick a really, really good place. I wanna just, Get out of this funk, man. I, I didn't really enjoy that meal, if I'm being completely frank with you guys, but it's possible I've had just a bad experience because I know a ton of you love that place. Always a bit gutting when you have a meal and you don't really enjoy it because honestly, on this channel, I aim to give you good recommendations, places I think you should go. So when I have a meal that I don't like, it's always a little bit, oh, always a bit sad, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna actually film another review now. There's so many places I wanna review down here, uh, like I mentioned earlier. So I might go to Shimlaz, I might go to Mr. Teasers. There's so many places I wanna do. So, but you know, thank you so much for staying by right to the end. Sorry again for being a little bit of a downer today, but I've got to call it as I see it. I'll see you guys in that next video. Thanks again for staying by. Make sure you like, make sure you share, subscribe. All the buttons, all the buttons that YouTube has, just click them all, click them all for me. And uh, I'll see you in that next one, guys. Bye, 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 bye.